the Lyft project, which is something that we created in New York City, was a three-week media-making intensive in the summer for New York City teenagers because we wanted to make a movie about coming of age in New York City, but we as filmmakers weren't teenagers from New York City. And so we thought, well, what, what, what better way to, to do our homework than to create a workshop for teenagers and have them read the story, have them uh, look at imagery that we'd been generating, and have them critique the process, and have them create short standalone works themselves, but also use possibly some of the footage from their short videos in the actual film. You have five minutes to say anything you want. What do you want to say? Let's hear it. Let's see it. Okay, so Talk to us. We want to make short works, and you want to be able to say things about the world in which you live in. I've written a story about teenagers who live in New York. I'm not a teenager. I've only lived in New York for a year. We are hoping that some of what you shoot ends up in that movie. What is it that you want to say? What do you want to talk about? What's important to you? Just throw out ideas right now, because it's going to be an evolutionary process. And the young filmmakers put their ideas out there, and then, and then they sh kind of shaped each other's ideas. I was thinking Third Avenue, you have so many conversations, and everything's going so wild, and it's hot. And then we could have, that's, like, that could be like a few like, dialogues we have. He's just walking, but we don't see him and just learning like how to turn the camera on and how to get it to record and stuff. We did basic, very, very basic, what is the camera, what did buttons do, how to set up your shot. Okay. And then to see them shoot for the first time. Rolling. My name is JJ Rodriguez. Everyone has to shoot. Everyone has to know how to operate the camera, operate the tripod. Most of them have never used video cameras before. And it's interesting to see them sort of start to think in images. Do you like any of that? Yeah, I like that. Film it. Don't be afraid of film. That looks off like that. If I have a shot of Antiqua here and the shot is like at this level, there should be a reason for it, right? If I go down like this, it's going to create a whole different feel. If I'm like up like this, it's a whole different I'm looking down on you, or I'm looking up at you, or I'm at your level. It's really hard to shoot someone while they're walking, because obviously your camera's going to be really, really shaky if you just have it like this. So this is, this is what I do. Hold the tripod under my arm, where it's really comfortable. And then at the base, I just hold it in my hand. So when I'm walking, the camera will be a lot steadier than it would be. In the third week, we've set aside for strictly editing. But what you want to do now is you want to open iMovie. Now watch what happens when you, watch what you can do with a shot. Editing, you, you have to know what you want, you know, you have to, you, you can understand a storyline, but it's a puzzle. It's like you're a puzzle maker. You're, you're putting the pieces together. I like being behind the camera and just videotaping things. I think it's a cool profession. The tours are created in part to, to give the, the teen participants this larger picture of what they're dabbling in. You can send videos, signal from this room to just about anywhere in the building. You are in a recording studio that specializes in sound for motion picture. Let's say I record track one here. I did take one, then I go to track two, I do take two, you see how they light up? <laughs> you have little stuff like that. It even sounds like snow sometimes as you EQ it. They use um, cornstarch for snow too. There are so many different aspects of like a film that you can be involved in. You don't have to be center stage. Maybe you, you're interested in being the camera operator, or maybe uh, you want to do some set design. That's why video and like film is, is ideal for seeking out all like any different talent that a kid has and saying, all right, you want to do that? Psh, go for it. I just want them to take that, you know, have confidence. And I want them to show that this is, this could be a career for them. I hope that they can see that through the project. Like they actually can come out and make films and there are people who we're all working in the industry, you know.
that they can they can do that or they can make it in the arts if that's what they want to do. I'm living proof because I was one of these kids from Jamaica, Queens. When you learn media and you learn media literacy, you look at everything in a new light. They can make judgments for themselves based on what they're seeing. They can break down those images and they can see what those images are really saying. One of the early things that I think we're all trying to do with these youth in this workshop is letting them know that what they have to say matters. A lot of youth have a whole bunch of stuff to say, but they're just not saying it because they don't know how. In New York City, with all the cutbacks and everything, we don't have a lot of after-school programs anymore. So where does the student turn to? You know, we, want, we say we want to get the students off the streets, but we don't give them any place to go. If nothing else, I hope that we help them find their voices and to know that they can be creative and that they are creative and uh, they can say whatever they want and they can be whatever they want. I know what to look for. You know what I mean? The things that stand out that no one else can see but me.